What do computers do? They run programs. Where? In a room on your PC called RAM. Here's the RAM room, and over here on the right is the disk. Tell me more. Okay. It communicates. It is great at processing numbers. One, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot. If you have processing and data, then you need memory to remember. To remember what? To remember your previous number. While counting one, two, three, four, your PC thinks, oh, what's the next number? It looks at memory. It sees a four. Oh, yeah, I just did four. So the next number is five. So if you have processing, you need data. And if you have data, you need memory. If you have memory, then you must have I.O., which is input-output. Why? Because you first got to put the data into memory before you can process it. So if your program is in your head, you need a keyboard to key it into memory. Or if it's on another PC, you need an internet to download it into memory. Of course, to see the results of your program, you must put those results out of the PC and on the monitor. So the monitor is an output device. The printer also is an output device. Scenario 1. You just downloaded a program from the Internet to your memory. Okay, your program is in memory. Now what? The processor will go get, oops, fetch, an instruction. From where? From the program in memory. And then do what? And then execute that instruction. It will keep doing this till the end of the program. At which point, it'll either stop or start all over again. And that's enough for now. Logically yours, George Bull.